Opposers, I love America. It's been perfect ever since day one, when the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock and immediately refused to bake a cake for some gay Indians. <laughs> On religious grounds. I love it here in America, but I've gotta be honest. Sometimes when I look around, I don't recognize my country anymore. First up, female cocks, or as they call them, chickens. <laughs> There's nothing more American than KFC. You got Kentucky, you got fried, and you got a weaker creature's blood on your hands. <laughs> America. Well, not anymore. KFC is developing a vegetarian fried chicken. A spokesperson says the offering is aimed at healthy eaters. Vegetarian fried chicken? That's an oxymoron. Like government efficiency or unflattering picture of Eric Trump. <laughs> Leave your recipe alone, KFC. It's our president's favorite thing to eat after cheeseburgers and Paul Ryan's integrity. <laughs> I mean, meatless chicken, come on. That's not the America I know. Am I even in America anymore? It sure doesn't feel like it. You know what? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm in some other country. Like, I don't know. Finland. And I'm polishing Olympic hockey medals with my friends Lina and Alexander. Going to the public library because this country has the highest rate of book borrowing per capita. Before our afternoon of hiking through the 78% of the country that's covered in forests while the rest is fjords. Ugh. Next up, man's best friend, statues. I love statues. They're a great way to commemorate American heroes who loved this country so much, they waged war against it. <laughs> but now, some new statues are coming to town. New York City is now launching the She Built NYC campaign. First Lady Shirley McRae says finding a memorial or statue to instrumental women in New York City is like going on a scavenger hunt. When there are no representations of the women who built this city, women of all ethnicities, the message is that women's contributions are worth less than men's. Hey, lady, what do you mean you need more statues of women? You already have the tallest one. <laughs> She's great. She's holding a book. She's supposed to welcome everyone to the country. If you think about it, the Statue of Liberty is America's bitchy hostess. <laughs> I'm sorry, but our poor, tired, huddled masses section is like so full. <laughs> you could go wait at the bar. It's a detention center. <laughs> it's a cage. <laughs> so I guess this organization is mad that there are nearly 150 historical male statues in New York and only five female statues. But that can't be true. There are so many statues of women. I see them everywhere, always staring out of windows at me. <laughs> Judging my cargo shorts, wearing lingerie in public. Some of them don't even have heads. And none of them are my mom, I never said they were. I mean, come on, more statues of women? What is this? This isn't my country. What happened to the America I know and love? Maybe I'm not there anymore. Maybe I'm in Barbados! <laughs> and I'm dancing at the Cropover Festival with a nearly naked and bedazzled Rihanna. And we're giggling about the country's near 100% literacy rate before we drunkenly sashay down to one of the many beaches for a meal of cuckoo. And if I choke on flying fish, it's okay because we have nationalized health care. Next up. The Incredibles 2 came out last week. And hot on its heels, the PC police at the New York Post published an article called, Hey Pervert, Stop Staring at Elastigirl's Butt. <laughs> now, Elastigirl is the mom. And personally, I barely noticed her. I was too busy admiring what I would look like with bleached hair. <laughs> but apparently, a lot of people noticed that Elastigirl is a quote, unquote, thick superhero queen. <laughs> so what? Are we not allowed to sexualize cartoon characters anymore? That's a proud American tradition, from Betty Boop to Daphne to Rosie the Robot Maid. <laughs> sweet, sweet Rosie. Perhaps the thickest of them all. 
Just look at that sexy maid outfit. Those angry red eyes. Those sensual claw hands. That double guillotine mouth. And listen to her. I could help you, Miss Judy. I'm wired for tape analysis. Ooh, she nasty. Look, if we can't sexualize cartoon characters, what the f are we even doing? Honestly, I don't feel like I'm in America. I feel like I'm in hell. <laughs> Floating down the river sticks with some loser boat demon insists that I pay him a fare. No way, dude. This is a damn rowboat, and I didn't even choose to come aboard. I'm keeping my 50 cents, and now I have to make small talk with Stalin and that gorilla that stole sign language? No way. <laughs> This place sucks. I can't stand it anymore. This is too much. Chuck, Chuck, bring me back, man. Tell me this isn't hell, and that I'm still in the country I love. Is US politics still dominated by men? Yes, but a record-breaking number of women are running for office this year. What? Chuck, normally at the end of this segment, you give me some reassurance that America is not changing. To be honest, the country is changing. There's growing diversity, movements like Me Too. I had a veggie burger for lunch, and it was okay. Okay. You're saying that not all change is bad? Maybe I should try it. Chuck, you're fired. Wait, what? The fight continues. The fight continues. Good. You hid down here where the real truth lies. If you want to help me defeat the globalists and stay on the inside, click and subscribe and help me defeat them. Because following me on my YouTube channel makes you a leader. It tracks. Trust me.